Good evening, folks. Here we go again with another beautiful 2008 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor Street Appearance Package. Original silver from factory vehicle. It's in immaculate running condition and shape. Does have very few minor scratches, some chips on the front end, and about maybe two or three door dings. I will go ahead and point those out as I go as I walk around the vehicle. Uh, this vehicle came from uh, Austin, Texas. It belonged to the Department of Public safety also known as highway patrol or state trooper it appears to have been a uh, possible admin vehicle who knows maybe a uh, officer take home car i don't know the car is in great shape whoever had it they did a great job of keeping up with the vehicle guys just so you know the vehicle has a uh, new window tint the one that the car came with when I first got it, it was all beat up and damaged. So I had the window tint refreshed. So I went ahead and put medium all around. Vehicle has been completely serviced and detailed. She doesn't need anything whatsoever and she is road ready. Folks, as you can see on the rear bumper, I do have a little bite mark right there. Right where my finger's at. I decided to leave that alone for the next customer or the new owner. It doesn't bother me. Uh, it doesn't affect the drivability of the vehicle in any kind of way, shape, or form. But it is there. It's hardly noticeable, but it's there. As you can see, the vehicle does have two holes. One in the trunk and one in the roof. I'm leaving the rubber plugs inside the holes. And just so you know, there is no water or air leaking into the trunk or the cabin of the vehicle. Before I forget, the vehicle does have a uh, does have four new takeoffs, Goodyear RSA Eagles, police tires. The ones that the car, the ones that the car came with, they were they weren't good at all. So I had to go out and get uh, a new set of tires for this particular vehicle. Again, those are takeoffs. Super sharp looking vehicle, guys. Folks, I do have a uh, clear lights and lessons on the front. The front headlights have been replaced. The ones that the car came with, they were pretty beat up and yellowish. So guess what? I put new ones on. New light bulbs and everything. So you're good to go. Also, if you can see the front bumper cover, it does have a little bit of damage from the road. My buff guy couldn't get those out. So guys, I'm letting you know, there's a little bit of uh, scuff marks. Uh, road hazard or road damage perhaps on the bumper is not broken but the paint is stained you guys can see it once again my detail guy couldn't get those out so chips right there you guys can see the chips guys I'm not hiding anything from you I'm not here to sell you lies but if you can see past the front bumper the rear bumper and those little chips Folks, I'm telling you, you guys got yourself a great running vehicle. All right, let's go inside real quick. Oh, folks, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention there's one door ding right there. This is the uh, driver's side rear door. We talked about the little bite right there. And one tiny little door ding here somewhere the camera doesn't see it it's kind of hidden but it's there it's there that's about it guys all right let's get back to the to the uh, cabin of the vehicle sorry for the uh, distraction there guys I have so much to do that sometimes I do forget to play in maybe a thing or two all right, here we go. The vehicle does have a uh, perfect interior. All seat belts and buckles are in place. Carpet floors with matching floor mats. Door locks and switches are in place. So yes, the rear doors are fully functional from inside and out of the car. For those of you that want to ask me what rear actual ratio this car is, it's going to be the X-Ray 5 X5. Electric seating here. Driver's side seat. Perfect conditions, passing your side seat, perfect conditions. Again, this was probably like an admin vehicle. 
or an officer take home unit. Let me clean this up here real quick. Perfect Dash Factory AM FM CD player. Working cruise control. Hunk works. Let's fire her up. All pressure lights off, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the vehicle does have 154,000 miles. I am responsible for 77 miles driven so far. It will go higher. Vehicle does have 12 hours on a new cluster. Folks, the cluster was replaced by the department. All right. There's no way, no how. 154 on 12 hours. Uh, I don't think that's possible. So I'm going to rule out that the vehicle does have a new factory cluster and they just reprogram the miles and turn on the idle the idle hours Never stop chasing me. You're chasing stereo does work black card option it's on my plates do work Stereo works. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Let's go to the trunk of the vehicle. Guys, this vehicle looks super sharp. I mean, if you're in the market for a vehicle that that has good miles and it's gonna take it from 8.8 .8 to Z, this is it, guys. Once again, I have set you up for success on another vehicle. Folks, as you can see, the vehicle does have a new tire, wheel and tire. Those are, that, that's a matching wheel to the end tire to what the vehicle currently has right now. Hold down pen inside, floor jack to the right. This is the way the car is going to go to you guys. I'm not taking anything away. Let's go to the services under the hood of the car. Once again, I do have clear lights and lenses here. Even the bulbs are new. And as you can see, the vehicle has been completely detailed. Super clean. Ready to go to her new home. Doesn't need any repairs whatsoever. And it is turnkey ready. All right, let me clean this up here. I'm gonna see if I can knock it down here in two minutes. Starting right to left, I do have a new air filter. Throttle body was serviced and cleaned out. I do have eight new Motocraft Platinum spark plugs, synthetic blend, engine oil service and filter, transmission, Mercom 5 fluid and filter replaced, air conditioner is super cold on the vehicle. I'm, I'm assuming the uh, department took care of that. I do have a new AC Delco battery with a 30 month warranty that goes with the, with the new uh, owner. What it appears to be a new radiator fan shroud and module from factory. Bell looks good. Tensioner looks good. Uh, it's got new front brakes and rotors from that department. Rear brakes are about 80%. I checked those out. And as usual guys, let's go to the uh, radiator here. Folks, I got in here and I cleaned it up really good. I, I went inside the radiator, post uh, the little dust bunnies out. So, you know, this part of the vehicle is like the nose. If the radiator is too clogged up, full of dirt, guess what's gonna happen? You already know, I don't have to tell you. So um, I'm taking care of that as well, guys. So I'm always having to go in there and clean things up. Make sure she's good to go for the next owner and she's not gonna give you any headaches. Sorry guys, he got blurry there on me. My apologies. Am I forgetting anything? I hope not. Well folks, here she is. Once again, 2008 street appearance package. Police interceptor from Austin, Texas. It belonged to the Department of Public and Safety. 
which is also known as the highway patrol it might have been a commander vehicle or an admin vehicle who knows well guys here she is ready to go any questions comments concerns or if you're interested in buying this vehicle please get a hold of me if you can pass if you can see past those little details folks I'm telling you you got yourself a vehicle here that's gonna be in immaculate running condition is gonna take you from point A to Z believe me once again I set you up for success so let me know how I can help folks once again I'd like to take the time to thank you for watching this long video you guys have yourself a great week thank you and God bless